Hi, good day. So this is the second set of my lectures. Uh, now I will talk about obligations with period 1193. So I do not think I need to explain further what the provision wants to tell us. We have already discussed that. Uh, remember, period is one that refers to a future event that is certain to happen. Okay, so I think uh, that is already self-explanatory. So we go to 1194. We took this up already in relation to Article 1189 in regard to the laws, deterioration, and or improvement of the thing then before the arrival of the day, certain See, the, the the provision itself refers us back to Article 1194. Now, in Article 1195, uh, it merely uh, dictates that anything paid or delivered before the arrival of the period, the obligor being unaware of the period or believing that the obligation has become due and demandable, may be recovered. So this is an instance when the debtor who may have believed that his obligation is already due and demandable paid the creditor when in fact uh, it is not yet due and demandable. So he can recover it back. But very important to take note, again to support my contention, that the creditor would be entitled only to the fruits okay, when the obligation to deliver arises and not necessarily when the obligation itself is constituted because 1195 also says that aside from recovering what he may have paid which refers to the principal he can also actually recover the fruits or interests you see so it's clear therefore that pending the arrival of the period okay or even fulfillment of the condition if the thing that is to be delivered produces fruits that will be for the right of the debtor so yung ibang authors mali ang sinasabi okay so what is therefore the provisions that we are going to discuss would, uh, to a certain extent in 1196. This is the presumption. Presumption to whose benefit a period is fixed. So if you will look at the provision, it tells you that the period is presumed to have been established for the benefit, take note, of the creditor and the debtor. I stress creditor because oftentimes, especially when we are talking of a suspensive period, it is always for the benefit of the debtor and not the creditor. But that is not what the law says because a period is really for the benefit both of the creditor and the debtor. Now, what is the implication? The implication is this. Obviously, the creditor cannot demand from the debtor payment or fulfillment before arrival of the period. Now, however, the debtor also no, cannot compel the creditor to accept payment or fulfillment of the obligation before arrival of the period. That is what it means when the law says that the period is fixed for the benefit both of the debtor and the creditor. So, I gave you an illustration. If I owe you 500,000 pesos and I am to pay you only, say, on June 30, 2020, okay, so the period is obviously the arrival of the day, June 30, 2020. Now, what is the implication of the application of 1196? Obviously, you as creditor cannot compel me to pay you before June 30, 2020. But also, 
me, your debtor, cannot obligate you to accept the payment before June 30, 2020. Maybe you will be wondering, Oh, ay, pinabayaran ko na nga. Ayaw mo pa. Eh, para kang nang iinsulto ah. But you see, it is not just, you know, the matter of the payment that may be considered as beneficial to the creditor, but there would be also some aspects that will benefit the creditor in the delay or the, the uh, suspension at the moment of payment. For example, banks, take note of banks. If you enter into contracts with banks, especially it's a long-term loan, say, for your house and lot, it is payable within 10 years. You will take note. If assuming that you are paying the bank monthly installment of 30000 a month for 10 years for the loan that you acquired with interest. Now, it just so happened that you won in the Philippine Lotto and you therefore have now the funds to pay off the bank the entire indebtedness you incurred even the interest so punta ka ngayon sa banko yawag ko pasok ka ngayon sa manager manager ay hindi ko na hihintayin yung 10 year period babayanan ko na ang utang ko sa iyo nakalipas pa lang ang anim na buwan so only 6 months to the 10 year period eto mo oh naku mabubulang tangka because the bank manager will decline the payment. So, siyempre magagalit ka. Abay, binabayaran na ito ah! So, do you really have a right to compel the bank now to accept the payment before the expiration of the 10-year period as agreed to in your loan? Answer, no. But what is it? that would benefit the bank in you not paying them. Hindi mo mas beneficial yun. Okay. For tax purposes. See, if you will pay the principal, including the total amount of accumulated interest that is supposed to have been, you know, paid to them in a 10-year period, just in a year, then that total amount will be considered as income for them for that year which means they will have now to consider it as part of their taxable income for that year and it may even be creating an obligation on their part that is the bank to pay taxes that is much much more than you will be paying them you see? So there are reasons. Example, maybe this creditor of yours really does not want at the moment to have in his possession what you call now this money. So, binigay muna sa inyo. Bakit? He may be a spendthrift. Oh, yung isang tao na pag nakahawak ng per gastos ng gastos. So, para ma-save niya yon, hindi niya muna kukunin. So, pinipilit mo ngayon po niya. So, pwede niyang tanggihan yan. So, there are several what you call, and it is not just the payment of the interest. There may be other reasons why a creditor may be benefited by not accepting the payment by the debtor before arrival of the period. Now, of course, this this rule or presumption is subject to the exception that in cases when it is expressly provided that it would only be for the benefit of the debtor or it may be for the benefit of the creditor. This could be implied or expressed. So if it is for the benefit of the debtor, then that means that the debtor can not be, cannot be compelled by the creditor to pay before arrival of the period but the debtor can 
compel the creditor to accept even before arrival of the period 